Jim Clark is commonly considered the best driver of all time, but is he though? So let's look at the stats. In 1960, he finished 10th with 8 points. And then the world champion was Jack Brabham, who bested Bruce McLaren, his teammate, in dominant fashion, who may I add is considered a good driver. The next year, in 1961, Jim Clark would kill Wolfgang von Trips, who would have won the title and could have been his biggest rival. Jim Clark got 11 points and finished 7th. 1962 was a good year for Clark as he was runner-up for the championship. Although, if you counted all races, he would have finished behind Bruce McLaren. Jim Clark would not get a podium outside of first. His first championship would come in 1963 in dominant fashion, but not as dominant as Jack Brabham in 1960, and his teammates were not as good as Bruce McLaren, but still. 1964 would have been Wolfgang von Tripp's second title Presuming that he stayed with Ferrari, Jim Clark would finish third. 1965, Jim would win again. Second World Championship title in absolutely dominant fashion. 1966 was the best year, but not for Jim. 1967, he would get the four DFE, but it was not good enough as Brubman would get his second Constructors title and the most underrated driver would get his only title. 1968, rest in peace. Looking back on his racing career, his life was can't tragically short, but so was Wolfgang von Tripps, who was a better driver in my opinion. And let's not forget Jack Brabham, who was in an uncompetitive car for much of the 60s. And you can't say that or when he was in a more dominant car he won, because so was Jim Clark. And still, he got three titles. So was Jim Clark the best driver of all time? Well, in my opinion, at best, he was third best driver in the 60s. But that is just my opinion. And that is all.